this is the Duke of New York, and this is me playing some more Cortex Command. And in case anyone's wondering, I'm playing this on a extremely hard difficulty. But that does not matter, and I'll explain that at a later date. I'm, I'm going to explain what I'm doing later, but I'm just trying to go ahead and get it uh, over with, because like I said, this is on hard difficulty, so I want to get my forces out in the battlefield quickly. So what I'm doing, well first of all, this is mod. This vehicle is not in the game. This is a, this is just your standard dropship. There goes my unit, and the dropship's gonna take off again. Uh, but yeah, that's a mod, and what it does is that lets me carry heavier, more things. You know, more heavier things. Um, it also has guns mounted to the bottom, which I'm gonna see if I can show you. Let me see if I can go over here and find an enemy. And the guns on the bottom will automatically- Ooh! There's something! Shoot it! And there's an enemy dropship! Shoot it! Boom! But yeah, this is a non-standard uh, dropship because it has these bottom-mounted guns and can carry heavier, larger things. And the reason it can carry heavier, larger things is mostly because the mod that this dropship is in I'll show you some st stuff later, late, I'll show you later, um, has mechs in it which, as you might be aware of, mechs are huge and very heavy. So what I'm doing now, well, the way this game is set up is, um, crafts. So here's all my vehicles. Uh, bodies, that's just units. Tools, you know, like diggers, and you can scan, uh, when Fog of War is on. Uh, you can scan. I'm assuming that's what that does. There's a chainsaw. There's, you know, there's a detonator in there. There's a disarmor. There's guns, you know, direct damage type stuff. Here's bombs, stuff you can put in planes or like mines or what have you. Uh, here's shields, and I'm going to move my camera because there's some action over here. I'll show you guys some of that. Here's my bots just going at it. And that guy has 11 health and he's lo lo losing health about a second or so. He's bleeding out. Um, yeah. I'm going to try to set up some anti-aircraft defenses so they don't even get on the ground. But yeah, um, shields, so, you know, riot shields, you can use pistols and stuff with this. And then here's, uh, some save stuff, which are just builds I made that I can easily access. So what I'm doing is I'm taking one of my builds and I'm just going to change one weapon, since everything else is already set up. I want to give this guy a heavy sniper rifle, because heavy sniper rifle is actually really good at taking out, um, aircraft, which my... There it go. There goes one. If you see, um, oh, <laughs> that landed right on my guy. Um, sorry, I'm trying to buy stuff. Uh, if you, you can rewind if you didn't see this. Uh, one of the engines got shot, and so that caused uh, it to start spinning out of control and crash. And right now, I'm direct controlling this guy to make sure he hits. Okay, he's dead. All right, I need to get some more units over there. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I want to drop off my sniper up here. I'm going to take my aircraft down. Nope. Sniper. No. I want you up, not down. Okay. This isn't good. <laughs> this isn't looking for old soldier guy. Okay. He's dead. All right. <laughs> All right. So the, he's... Yeah, when you're moving units around you need to be careful that uh you're not moving when you drop them because if you do they'll keep the same momentum and it gets pretty ha hairy sometimes all right and i need to keep these guys from getting into my base because that is where my brain is all right i believe in you ai i need to control this guy um because the way the game's set up i, I can only call aerial supplies in an area above well kind of around where my brain is, but it's only done from like above, it's not done from side to side. So basically I have to keep calling things on that side because that's where my brain is. And I need to... I'm using this aircraft. And it's going to crash. However, it's going to crash in a blaze of glory. Freedom! Oh wow, I have no... it, it died. Boom. Oh, you're trying to take off? You're trying to take off, uh, orange, orange plane? You wanna, you wanna take off? 
No, no, more, faster, damage it. The, no. Wait for it, I need to hit that engine directly. No, I'm a bad shot. I'm a bad shot. Yes, boom, perfect, perfect. All right, run, run, no, no, bad job, bad job. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Cortex command. Oh no, oh and no, please don't. All right, there's no units left in there, all right. Yeah, I'm doing this on the hardest difficulty to try to display the game as much as I can. Alright, I'm not gonna use the heavy sniper. Alright. You know how I earlier said this is all done in mods? Um, I'm gonna give this guy a nuke. And if you don't know what that means, what it means is when he dies, he's gonna drop the nuke, causing it to detonate. Basically, if he's near an enemy, he's gonna cause a whole bunch of pain. Alright. And, um... Alright, so I don't, I don't... I'll use the momentum to drop the guy. Right in the middle. Alright, he doesn't need to live. I don't know if you got this, but he just... I am the Duke of New York, and I am the Lord of Hellfire. Oh, that didn't hit a lot of them. Alright, that didn't work. Alright, I'm changing vehicles. I'm gonna go to my aircraft. I'm gonna put him in a rocket. And the things about rockets is they're kind of harder to control. I mean, the dropship, as I showed you, it goes left to right, and the exit's always facing down. With rockets, I'll show you. Um, the exits don't face down, they face left to right. So, uh... But you could, if you turn them, and... They're a bit harder to control, but I've gotten the hang of it. Also, they're a really good weapon. See, right when I hit that dropship, I said it so off course it just fell and purge the world right, right now my goal isn't to save lives it's damage control I need to get him all right the go-to mode in this game is a bit buggy I'm gonna try to get him here and then here so you kind of just step through it with these guys right now I need to I'm trying to get that guy there all right go Alright, let's buy another rocket. Let's get... Let's try to... Okay, they're getting in. Alright, I'm not gonna win this. That's... That's a fact. But at least I can make sure the dummies don't make it out alive. You know what, I'm not gonna try to save this guy. Ooh, that was actually worked out really well. Alright, now get out. Alright. Explosions. Alright, I'm not even gonna mess around. I'm gonna show you how the Duke of New York does nuclear warfare. Alright, I'm gonna get a different rocket. That's a bit smaller. It's a lot cheaper. And... It is... Alright, you stay here. So once they breach that door, he can start wiping them out. Alright. A smaller, lighter. I don't know if it's faster or not. But definitely, for just exploding purposes, it's the best. Boom! And there goes the nuke. It actually fell out without hitting anything. Alright. Let's try another one. Yeah, right now, this is how I use this mod. I mean, it's tons of guns, tons of characters. All I do is I use the new from it, and I just fly into enemy positions. It's incredibly fun. I mean, the standard games has have bombs in it. The standard game has bombs in it, but none of them are quite as powerful. I can show you what's in the standard game. Uh, I'll just put a regular uh, standard video game bomb in it, and put two standard bombs and napalm in there just because I'm trying to take out units right now. So that should... That should help. Alright. As you can tell, debris builds up. And if I can just keep... I mean, my 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 rocket combat has kind of been fighting against me because if I just left that area alone, eventually I could fill it up with other uh, dropships, basically carcasses, and they wouldn't be able to get anywhere close to my, uh, my um, door, which is my mission. And they're in... Alright. 
die for your country. Alright, let's get some real guys down here, alright. Because I play this a lot, I... I know it's gonna happen. And it benefits me a lot if I can, um... Keep them out of my base. Because what happens is eventually I'm gonna have to escape with my brain. This is my brain, by the way. Which is why I can only call errors drops over here. Um... <clears throat> So my brain's gonna have to escape, go out through here, go up through here, go out through here, which is why I want them out. I don't want any of them here. And then I need to go up here, up, up, and eventually I'm gonna need to get here and take off. Um. Alright, get out of here. Now they're coming from the right. This game's so hard. Alright. Oh no, they shot down my aircraft. No, we didn't get any close enough. Alright, that's all of my defenses. Alright. You gotta watch out for that. You. Alright, this entrance is basically barred up. Oh, this is bad. Alright, this guy's missing a leg. And he's bleeding out. Alright, that's good to know. At least they're... Oh. <laughs> At least that's keeping them from getting any closer. Alright, I'm gonna call in some more units. Just standard weapon. Uh, no fancy secondary that they were having originally. Also, if you're wondering, if you actually play Cordax Command, you're gonna realize something really odd. I'm buying the second... I don't wanna say second most powerful, but I'm gonna say it. Second most powerful unit in the game. And that's currently all I'm spawning. Well, if you played close, atten close attention, every time I'm in the, I'm in the buy menu, uh, the unit I'm using, just the basic, uh, the guy I'm using, uh, costs negative a thousand dollars. And that's because I edited the game and I made it so it was, gives me money. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this guy out of here before my ship detonates. Julio Cristo. Alright, I got my work cut out for me. Oh no. Oh, oh no. At least that ship's gonna solve some problems. <laughs> okay. At least their bodies are starting to pile up. Slowing them down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's the point I'm at it in this game. Where victory isn't an option, I just need to keep them from winning. Alright, and that plane's gone, so that means they're gonna start flooding in again. Um, think, Duke of New York. Alright, I'm gonna buy some units from that. Ooh, remember I said I would show you a mech? Well, I'm gonna show you, uh, I think this one has a good, good weapon. Um, I don't know. I don't mess around with these mechs that much. Yeah. Sorry. The uh, robot was calling me on Skype. Uh, dropship, yes. Alright, so I'm gonna order a uh, mini mech. Come on, mini mech. My main is account 3210. Here it is, alright. And I could call this guy out in a regular um, airship, but the, like, I don't know how to say this besides recoil of letting it out would push the ship in the opposite direction with quite a lot of force. And that would be bad. And I'm gonna go down. Guns! They're down here! Shoot! Shoot them! Pew 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 pew! Alright, there's a lot. Mech time! Laser time! I didn't know that was a laser, I don't mess with mechs. Okay, they're about to kill me. Alright. Aim! Fire! Laser! What else do you have? Fire this thing, I don't know what it is. That's a rocket, yes, that's good. Yes! Fire more rockets. Yes, yes, more! Yes, rockets! Rockets! Reload those rockets, alright. 
<laughs> I caused one of them to fly into their own ship. Alright, um, uh, as you notice, mechs are incredibly tough. Um, they're not in the game, this is a mod. That rocket went too far. <clears throat> so, don't expect this to be by Cortex Command for it to work. But to install mod- alright. Can I please stop almost shooting my guy, please, game? Alright, no, turn around. Shoot that thing. But, yeah, uh, all you have to do is go to the forums and check out the mod development page. And to install a mod, all you need to do is... Why? I keep missing and almost killing that guy. <clears throat> all right. Still have 90 health. Well, it doesn't matter, though, because my health doesn't start going down really at all until I start to break through my armor. Then it's going to drop like a fly. All right. I'm not very good. Alright, I'm gonna let you do your own thing, Mac. Alright, you just blew up. Me letting you do your own thing was just blowing up. Wait a minute, are those missiles turning around? Those missiles turn around. Those were seeking missiles. That's awesome. Alright, that guy's about to die. Looks like I'm gonna drop a mech off here to try to make him feel better. And if you paid attention, I mentioned that that was the second largest mech. Well, it's not that that one was, it was in the second largest class. Now, I'm going to buy the largest one that does what I want it to do. Alright. Alright. Drop the mech. Alright, more explosions going on over here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let you reload. I should wait. There. Zero. That should be here. Yes. Alright. I'm gonna drop down. Let's try to get over here. Let's try to get over here. I'm gonna use my momentum. I am Alpha and Omega. I am the beginning and the end. <laughs> Rocket launcher minigun! What? Oh no, that's just a regular minigun. But I'm okay with that. Because I need a regular minigun. I guess I don't use the mechs a lot. Because... Uh... You know, I usually... I'm just gonna... There we go. Um... Yeah, I don't use mechs a lot. Mostly because they can't go inside of buildings, and a lot of maps I play with involve buildings. Alright, don't hit me, shrapnel. Oh! Got hit by shrapnel. Alright, let's see what else do you have. Is that a mortar? Or like a rocket? Or like... Alright, that's a rocket, but I have bad aim. Alright, that doesn't hit anything. Um, there's a glitch in the mod from the past. Wow, alright, these guys are doing really good. Anyways, there's a glitch in the mod. Um, that rocket should have... Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spawn a tank, why not? What could possibly go wrong? Sorry, but there's a glitch in the mod, and what it does is it um makes it so some rockets don't hit their targets. It goes pa It goes through them. And that's because in the latest update, they got rid of friendly fire. So when you shoot, so if you're, so if you and a friendly unit are shooting at the same thing, or shooting through each other, um, their bullets will just pass through each other and they won't hit, like, you, your units won't accidentally kill each other anymore, basically. And I think what happened with the mod is that some of the weapons are messed up, so they do friendly fire, but on enemies, which is bad. Because, alright, they're hitting a lot of st Tank! Alright, that tank cannot be dropped from that high up. That is a lesson learned. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna spawn a bunch of Type 9 robots, which, if you do not know, is a robot that regenerates health. So, alright, you're clearly missing. I'm bad at this game, not you, you're... Alright, I missed too, I can't complain. But yeah, Type 9 Robot is um, a really, uh, another really expensive unit in this mod, because what they do is um, they regenerate their own health, basically. And they come with a rifle already. Alright, Battering Ram, you're not going to land here. This is my territory. <laughs> By the way, did I mention that this was a very heavily armed uh, gunship? Even though they've been shooting mine pretty badly, um, this is heavy, theirs is light. Alright. Let's try to drop some units and not have them die. Alright. 
Alright, try to stay on tar stay on target. Lower. Get lower. Alright, I'm just gonna start dropping you guys. And hopefully uh I won't die before I drop all my cargo. But yeah, if you pay attention, I'm, a lot of the times I'm breaking one engine, but not the other, and so it's spinning out of control or whatever. Uh, it's This is a really fun game. Because they're light uh, craft, yeah, I'm just spamming. I'm just spamming their drop zone to try to stop them. Try to get this under control. Alright, let's look around. Alright, this is pretty good. Now the problem with this is this is their drop zone. So even though I'm going to shoot their aircraft down, What's gonna happen is, a uh, they're gonna break apart and drop. Dummies are too overwhelming. Yes, I could get my AI out of here. Alright. Now, the problem is getting this guy out of here. I'm gonna drop the pistol. And you might ask yourself, Duke of New York, uh, this is your brain. You need to protect him. Why are you dropping the pistol? A, he has a really weak backpack. And getting up. Oh, this, this is a nightmare. This is what I want to fix in the up. I want them to get rid of stairs. Not stairs, I guess these are ladders. Anyways, that was my brain going ragdoll doing three backflips. Perfect. Um, it, it gets kind of difficult getting up here because your brain has a really bad backpack. And uh, you only. And these doors need to open up, like, right, right now. Alright, that was much better. Alright, I made it through that part in one go, that's good. Alright, there's dummies in here. This is bad. This is incredibly bad. Uh, that's the sound of death. Alright, I'm gonna drop so many bots. And if you can tell, since my brain moved, I can't deploy any over here. Any oh, they have a dreadnought. That's what that is. That's bad. Okay. But, um... Alright. Brain, get down. Get down, brain. Okay. Don't die, guy. Alright. Just start dropping bots. They'll work themselves out. Alright. Make me proud. Whoa, you have a heavy sniper? Oh yeah, you have a heavy sniper rifle. I can't believe I didn't use that earlier. Oh well. Alright, hopefully you'll be distracted by the robots to let me through. Alright, uh, my soldier's like missing a leg. He's under half, half health. So I'm not even gonna try to get him out of here. I'm gonna... Alright, let's get out. Let's go. Gotta go, gotta go. Oh! If you saw that engine right there, just fly through stuff. Um, if you blow something up while its engines are at full speed, the engines are still gonna be at full speed. But the thing is, usually I blow stuff up when they're landing. Or, um, the light aircraft. Okay. This is looking awesome. I'm just gonna watch this. Boom. Sometimes uh, you can have it so you blow up an airship and it starts spinning. Like you hit one side of it and it's not that huge mammoth. It's actually what it's called. It is referred to as the mammoth. Oh, no, up. No, don't do this to me now. Let me up. Ugh. Oh, you have a. Why'd you pick up a digger? You AI, you don't need anything. You need to grab the ledge. Please grab the ledge. No, it did not grab the ledge. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go up. Up, 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 up. Alright, that's good. Phew, alright, alright, good, alright. That was the hard part, actually. I just passed right there. Well, that was one of the hard parts. I'd like to point out that the only reason I'm winning this right now is because I'm cheating immensely. Because a lot of the. Because, like I said, I edited the cost of some units to be negative, so actually when I buy them I get tons of money, and I was able to use those units to fund my, like, a billion robots. Alright, that's my escape rocket. It was automatically done. I didn't do anything. That's just a part of the code of the game. Even though it looks like it's literally about to fall off the edge. I... Mm. Alright, crawl. Crawl through there. Yes. Okay, that's a bit close. 
Alright, if you open up one of your drop ships and you're near a unit, it'll pick it up. Alright, now let's get out of here before that shrapnel hits me. Alright, I was the Duke of New York. And I'd just like to say, where were all of those dum- at least I survived, but where were those dummies coming from? I guess we'll find out next episode. Uh...